Hi, Tom here with this week's Circle and Art School Drawing Challenge to draw the impossible star step by step. This star is impossible in the sense that it couldn't exist in three dimensions, but we can draw it in two dimensions. The first step in this drawing is, I think, to draw a small pentagon, a five-sided shape. Make sure that the top side of the pentagon that you draw is flat. Next, we can extend the lines of the pentagon, starting with extending the top horizontal line to the right. Now we can repeat this process four more times, extending them to the same length, so that we have five lines extending from the five sides of the pentagon. And each of these lines is sort of going in a clockwise direction. It would be good to try and make the lines the same length. And if you need to use a ruler, that's no problem, just use a ruler. Next, from the end of the first extended horizontal line, we can draw a new line which is parallel to the next extended horizontal line of the pentagon when looking clockwise, but it needs to be twice as long. Again, going clockwise, we can repeat this four more times. And by doing this, we will have four more extended lines, which are twice as long as the lines that they come off from. So this impossible star is made from a pentagon and then a series of extended lines. And then from the tips of these extended lines, we can add a second set of lines, which are parallel to the sides of the original pentagon and twice as long as the first set of extended lines. So in a way, we are repeating a line five times that comes off the side of the pentagon. The next step is to draw another parallel line in between two of the parallel lines that we've already drawn of the first extension line and lining up with the angle of the line to the right of it. Once you've got the habit of doing that, we can do that again and draw another one. So we're using the bent line and then from the bent line, we're going along to find a parallel line. So a parallel line, which is halfway long. And if it was to go backwards as it were, it goes to the bent point. And then when it comes forwards, it stays parallel with the other two lines either side of it. So again, the bent line going along halfway between the two lines that we've got. And then a parallel line going along, which is a little bit longer than the line that is next to it. Now, there's another one here. So again, lining it up with the corner bent line and then a parallel line, this time going upwards. So once you've got all those in place, time to add another set of five lines. This time we're making the points of the star. And to do that, we need to read these lines backwards. So to find the next point, follow along one of the five longest lines, follow it backwards. It needs to go under three cross lines and then it continues to a point, a point where it meets another line. You might have to extend some of your lines to make sure that they join, but try and keep these new lines straight. We can read this line backwards too. It crosses three lines here, and then we can draw it as it continues to the point, the point where it meets another line. There'll be five points to draw in total for this five-pointed star, which is based on a five-pointed and five-sided pentagon, the pentagon that we started the drawing with. So it's quite satisfying, I think, in a drawing like this, when you find how lines can meet up together and how it has patterns within it and a sort of underlying structure within it. The last step in the linear part of this drawing of the impossible five-sided star is to draw a line from each of the five points, a horizontal line 
which goes to the line next to the point. So now we have the impossible star, a star that you could not make three-dimensional, but by following some steps, we can clearly draw it two-dimensional on a piece of paper. Next, you might want to add some tonal values to your drawing. If you'd like to learn more about how to draw, please check out my drawing course, How to Draw from Scratch. Click on one of the links to learn more. I post a new video every week. Thanks for watching and see you next time.